everyone and welcome to another uh, bi-monthly anime update. This is for the second half of September and this is all the anime that I got in the last two weeks of the month. In comparison to my manga video this is going to be a lot shorter. I only have three anime items to show off and one um, other thing to show off. Um, so yeah, it should be a lot quicker and a lot shorter to get through than my other video. But first, before I get into anything, I want to thank everybody, um, especially my subscribers. I'm now over 800 subscribers and that's just phenomenal. Thank you guys so, so much. I know I mentioned these, this in a couple other videos, but um, I don't want to miss anybody who just watches specific videos. I, I want to thank all of you because it is really so huge. Um, I never expected to get this big, especially considering it's only been a year and a, probably 18 months since I started um, making these sorts of videos and I'm just blown away. Thank you guys. Um, so I will be doing another Q&A video at 850 subscribers. If you guys have any other suggestions of things you may want to see, um, put a comment down below and I will definitely read them and consider them. Um, because it's, yeah, just really, really exciting for me. I really appreciate the support and I'm so glad that so many people seem to find my interesting, my, find my videos interesting or entertaining or informative or whatever else. Um, it just, yeah, I'm just blown away guys thank you thank you again um so first of all with this update i'm going to show the figure that i got this month and that is uh the one seventh scale of maki from uh love live i am going to shift her she is in this sort of gothic outfit i think she looks very very cute personally um and it's pretty interesting. The lantern does glow if with like tiny little watch batteries if you so wanted to do that. Um, I really like the detail they put into her. I mean all of these 1 7 scales by Alter have been fantastic. Um, Maki is probably one of... Mm, She's not one of my favorite characters. She's M she's my sister's favorite character of the original Love Live girls. Um, and with this one, you can remove both the veil and the hat and put her on with just one or the other, or none at all, if you so wish. Um, yeah, I have now, I believe, only three left of these scales to go before I have the entire Muse set. Um, unfortunately, I am definitely a completionist when it comes to these sorts of things, but I also find that with Love Live, I really enjoyed majority of the cast. Um, there wasn't really any character that I outright hated, and there was enough to like with all of the characters that I don't feel bad about buying these scales and just the quality of them definitely um is worth the money in my opinion uh but yes i think they did a great job on marquee um i think the next one out is hanayo and then uh umi and honoka i think that's it no ellie ellie somewhere in there as well so this is the fifth girl that i have um, yeah, these are fairly, um, available, I think, most places. Maki is definitely seeing as she's only been released this, you know, last couple weeks. I believe some of the older ones, like, um, uh, Kotori and maybe Rin are a bit harder to find. I'm not sure about Rin, actually, but, um... These definitely worth your money. If you're a Love Live fan or if you're a Rin fan, I would suggest you get these if you're looking for a nice scale. The detail is great. The painting is great. The shading is great, as expected with Alter. And yeah, I just really great use of various sorts of PVC and paint and all sorts of things. 
she looks really cute and they did a really good job on her just put her little stuff back on her head and then um with anime, I only have three things, as I mentioned before. So first of all is a series that um, got a bit of uh, sort of recent notoriety, at least so far within the USA, um, because it is one of the series that, like Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, has recently um, Funimation has recently lost the license to. Um, to Anaplex um, due to not being able to renew their license for the show. Uh, this was one that I wanted to really see for years at this point but never really got around to. I remember watching the trailers for this on other on other discs uh, that I had bought at the time when it first came out and like I said just never got around to it. Uh, when it when the most recent news came out that it was going out of print, basically, I decided to pick it up. Um, and I actually managed to find this on eBay here in Australia for less than $20 um, shipped as well. So I got a really good deal on this. And that is Birdie the Mighty Decode, the complete collection. So this is both seasons in one set. I feel, believe it's 26 episodes. I haven't watched it entirely. This is the recent sort of um, sequel or remake of a, I believe, 80s OVA called Birdie the Mighty. It's a sci-fi sort of comedy action series that focuses on this character on the front here, Birdie. Um, I've heard really good things about this. It's a bit of a unknown series but uh does fairly well with um sort of people's who have seen it they give it quite a high rating so i'm looking forward to it i think it'll be good and considering the price i paid for it uh, i'm not you know out too much money or anything like that um yeah so i did want to i'm glad that i got the opportunity to get this series before it was totally gone. Um, of course, here in Australia, the license agreements are different than that of the USA, but um, whilst it was current in my mind, I thought I should pick it up before I forgot about it again and waited years and possibly did end up missing it. So that's Birdie the Mighty Decode, um, 26 episodes of sci-fi fun that I look forward to getting to. And next is actually, there's two things, but they are related to the same series. And that is the Australian release of um, Sailor Moon Classic. So this is the limited edition box for the original 90s Sailor Moon, uh, containing the first 24 episodes, I believe. So you have the filler box as well as the DVD and booklet itself. DVD is fairly standard, four discs in a case and the booklet is pretty standard as well, just art and other stuff. And on the back we have Usagi, on the front we have Usagi. There's a lot of Usagi on these and then just a box to um, allow part two. Um, I have no real nostalgia for Sailor Moon Classic. I was not one, I never watched it as a kid. I used to air before, um, school when I was in primary school. So I was never allowed to watch TV in the morning. So I never really watched the show. Um, but it is such an influential series that I did want to try it. Um, a lot of people who are aware or are fans and are kind of more knowledgeable about this stuff um do know that the this recent Australian release is probably the best way to get the show um because the video format is or the video quality is much 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 higher than the US releases it uses the Italian 
um, video masters comparatively to the Viz video masters that they released on their Blu-rays and DVDs. And so it maintains the high film grain, it keeps everything looking beautiful, it doesn't blow out the colours, anything like that. But of course it also is uncut, it does have the new Viz dub on it. Um, so I wanted to get this one that um, I know a lot of people really enjoy, it's very much a classic. It's not, I'm not expecting it to be anything phenomenal, it is a kid's show. And it is a very repetitive kids show, a lot of filler. Um, but for, for something to just have in the background on, it's it's good. I'm looking forward to watching it. I've seen a couple episodes of this first um, season. I've watched the first like six, seven episodes. And I enjoyed what I saw. Um, but like I said, it is definitely something you put on in the background whilst you're doing something else. And looking up every so often and be like, yay, she's transforming and look at, oh, yay. <laughs> um, so that is Sailor Moon, the original series, or the, season one. And I also got the, mo the more recent um, release of Sailor Moon R. So this is the limited edition release of, of course, the second season of Sailor Moon Classic um, R, which is a bit obvious. Uh, again, Usagi a lot on the box. And inside we have, just like with the other one, a booklet which comes with artwork and not much else. It's got some character stuff in there. And then also the DVD release. In this case, a little bit different from the last one. Um, so I, because it's this series is not a high priority for me, I did only get these limited edition, like the box set ones with part ones, uh, because I didn't want them to sell out and miss out on them. Um, but I'm not not really in a rush to buy you know part two of either of these because I know that if I wait, I will be able to get them during Christmas sales or you know, whenever, whenever I find a good deal on them, I can pick it up. Uh, so I'm, like I said, I'm not a huge fan, of, like nostalgic fan of this series, but, um, I do look forward to watching it. Um, I'm looking forward to the later seasons because I have read the manga. I do know what to expect. Um, and stars was always, you know, when I found it got interesting and I'm looking forward to watching the new dub um, for these. So, again, I don't really have any attachment to the old dub. Um, but I, th from what I heard of it, I thought they did fairly well. And, um, yeah, it's fun. It's definitely a classic. I always enjoy watching sort of these older shows that maybe not everybody is super interested in. Um, I, of course, have a lot of recent favourites, but... You can't really knock the sorts of things that got people interested in this genre. Um, and Sailor Moon was definitely sort of a cornerstone of of a lot of young girls <laughs> television watching, at least my generation. Um, so yes, I think that that is it. So we just, the two Sailor Moon sets and then also Birdie and of course Maki, like I showed off before. That was all I got for this anime, for uh, this anime update for these last two weeks. Not a huge amount, but um, some some things I've been waiting for for a while, and some things that I think a lot of people are interested in, at least with Sailor Moon. Um, I know that a lot of people aren't very happy with how this has handled the series um, insofar as video and audio quality or video wise I think more so than audio but um, it's good to have a local release that is um, done very well and being able to 
uh, afford it <laughs> at the moment, considering how the exchange rate is here in Australia in comparison to the US dollar. Um, being able to buy it locally did really help out um, with my funds this month. Um, and also finding them for a fairly good price, um, considering they are technically new releases. Uh, the, Sail the Sailor Moon are, especially. But that was it for this um, last two weeks of the month. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's a much shorter video than usual. Um, only a few things to talk about. But I hope it was still interesting all the same. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks and bye till then.